Hey guys, this is Super Testnet, and today I just wanted to show off my latest invention, which is Noster Image Host. So let me, before I tell you about it, I want to show you how it works. Basically, you can upload images to Noster Relays, and so I'm going to pick one right here. My favorite one right now is nostru.com, and I'm going to upload this picture of a duck that I downloaded a few minutes ago. So let me submit that, and we'll get to see how it works. Um, so basically what the website is doing right now, uh, it took that image of a duck and turned it into a text file. So all it is is just a bunch of, you know, bytes written as text. And then uh, it chunks, chunks up that long piece of text into little little chunks that are um, within the rate limits for this particular Nostra relay, nostru.com. And once it's done that, it then sends uh, a note, it sends a Nostra note containing one piece of that text every two seconds, so it stays under the rate limits of this relay. And uh, and when, and then it basically just does that. It gives each note a little number, and then uh, assembles them later, so that I can view the picture by just downloading it straight from a Nostra relay. So you'll get to see something called a Nostra image ID in about four more seconds. And um, here's what one of those looks like. And uh, you can take this and you can copy it into um, uh, this form down here, enter image ID, and it will basically do the reverse. It'll download all of those images or all of those chunks of the image and assemble them and then pass it into an image tag. Um, so now I've got this little code that I can use to embed this into any website that I have and uh, it's really great. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you, if you're a developer, you know, you're probably familiar with dealing with image tags and so I'm going to show you how to make one uh, that works with this. So first I'm going to open up a directory, make a new folder and I'll say test noster image host and I'm going to go into there, I'm going to create a new document called index.html and I'm going to open that up in my text editor. In here I'm going to copy in an HTML template uh, and if you're a web developer you probably already know where this is going. I'm just merely going to put in this, uh, this code right here and it does require a couple of dependencies which are listed on my GitHub in order to use it. So just scroll down to where it says uh, what the dependencies are. Suddenly it's not scrolling. Refresh this page. And so here are the dependencies for it. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about these dependencies. They are just um, JavaScript deliver or uh, SHA-256, which it uses to hash the image, uh, and Noble 256K1, which it uses for assigning messages for Noster, and then um, Betch32, which it uses for encoding um, the, the Noster image and decoding it, the Noster image string. Uh, so once I have those, I can just load up this index.html page and, and open it in Firefox, and what we should see is that duck. You know, it just appeared, just like, just like that. I downloaded it right from the Nostra Relay. So why did I make this? Um, well, I made it because very often I make proofs of concept in the Bitcoin space, and many times some of my proofs of concept need users to upload some data. Maybe it's data about themselves, maybe it's data about a project they're working on, um, but often there needs to be an image. And uh, I always want to, you know, show some kind of image upload form. I want to say, you know, click select your image and then upload it here. But I can never do that because, you know, normally if you're going to host an image or any kind of file, you need a server. Like, you need some kind of Amazon web server or you need to self-host one. And I just don't like doing that. I, ne I can never keep them running for very long. They cost money. I usually don't make any money on my proofs of concept. And uh, so I eventually just, like, stop running it and then the service stops working and, it's, and it no longer proves any concept. Um, but the other thing you can do is you can go to, like, imgur.com and you can like get an API key. So if you go to the like developer tab on on here, let me see if I can find developers. Well, I can't find it immediately, but there's like a dev version of uh, yeah, Imgur API uh, that you can use for like creating a web form. And but you need an API key, and usually these things either cost money or you know they'll just. Um, they'll rate limit you and, and you get, it kind of sucks. Um, so I decided to make one that didn't need any of this stuff. And I used, um, I used Noster because Noster lets you upload text for free and um, you don't need an API key for it. So I just made this little tool. And that's basically why I made it is so that my, my proofs of concept can, ha can do work with this. But uh, you can use it too. The, the, it, my little app here does have an API. You just need the dependencies I showed you and then you can connect to whatever relay you want. 
uh, you get you, th these are the two images or the two functions you need upload to Noster and download from Noster and they're pretty simple one of them takes an image as uh, as a parameter and gives you back an image ID the other takes an image ID as a parameter and gives you back a base 64 encoded version of that image that it downloaded from Noster and once you have the base 64 thing you can just add it as the source tag of an image uh, element in HTML and it works so yeah uh, check it out and um, there's some more information on this page but I'll link to this below and let me know what you think thanks so much